As we know, welcome back to Everyday Kentucky. As we know, <laughs> where is. there is good food being created, we can always find our very own dear friend, Chef Weta Michael, nearby. That's right. Now, although she has joined us this morning as a guest host, she will also be talking about one of her restaurants, Zim's Cafe and the Thirsty Fox, to tell us what specials you all have for Lexington Restaurant Week. You have some drinks, you have some specials. Chef Weta, tell us all about it. Well, Zim's is our downtown diner. That in our group, that's their that's their mo. So they have a twenty nine dollar three course uh, specials that they're running. And for the first courses, they have one of them is this seven layer dip with fresh local corn and avocado guacamole, and it comes with chip. It's really really good. So that's one of the courses. And I brought the salmon because. My big thing is we can't have Kentucky cuisine without the Kentucky farmer. So obviously we're not we're not racing a lot of salmon in Kentucky. Right. <laughs> okay, but we it's fish season. It's summertime, and so we did a fresh peach salsa uh, mm. with local peaches, and we have a ratatouille. And the ratatouille this is ratatouille season. So it's squash, local tomatoes, uh, summer squash, local peppers, onions, local onions from Happy Jack's Farm. They're all the candy onions. We have a heck of an onion crop this year. Wow. So that's one of our and then also you can choose eggplant parmesan and then the desserts are anything from Midway Bakery in our bakery case and so we have coconut cream pie chocolate bourbon pecan pie um, we have lemon chiffon pie we have the lemon bar all the brownies we have um, our uh, red velvet cake our hummingbird cake you can choose anything that you want for dessert and our cocktail at the thirsty fox is made with bananas and I thought it was cute because Jeremy said he used mango we made a banana syrup and I know this sounds weird but I thought you guys might want to take a little sip a lot of times in bourbon flavors, one of the things they're really looking for are these tropical fruits, coconut, pineapple, banana, and you'll find them, but it takes a little bit of practice. We made a banana syrup and it also has a chocolate bitters, and then we put banana chips in to garnish, and it's really, really good. It's powerful, but it's good. If you want to sip, you don't have to. I'm like, you worry about You're your future day right. here. We can't share this because, no, we can. The alcohol killed the germs. That's what I was always told growing up. <laughs> Was it good? Ooh, she yeah. drank out of this side. If you want to try that, I, I, one. I really it's a very it a unusual combination. Oh, um, our young bartender, our ooh, ooh, Elias, ooh. he's our young mixologist, our new bar manager, came up with it, and I just think that's good. That and good. let me good. tell you that why is that is good because you taste this, yeah, but it's not so overpowering. It's very floral. It's light. It's yummy. But I think the bananas add like this caramel flavor to yes. it. Is that okay? I highly recommend this cocktail with a slice of coconut cream pie. Mm. I can see that going well. The custard yeah, and it's just like that was good. It's going to be a great finish. So that's what we've got going on at Zim's and the Thirsty Fox. And remember, the Thirsty Fox is our bourbon bar, but you can order your full menu from Zim's in the Thirsty Fox, and you can eat on either side, whichever feels good to you. <laughs> Perfect. Also, Honeywood and 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 Holly Hill Inn. We have uh, Lexington Restaurant Week specials all week, and you can go to the Lexington Restaurant Week website. You can check out the full menus for everyone's restaurants, my three, and all the other. 33, 30 restaurants that are involved. So it's it's really a cool celebration. And you know, that's what I love about you. The fact is, you love the culinary scene here in Lexington and you want everybody to do well. You know, I do. You want people to come to yours, sure, but you want this you want this to be an experience. For well, because I know if, if we all do well, we, we have something real, well, we already have something really, really special. And in this community, we're all competitors, but we're all friends. I'd do anything for Jeremy. He knows that. If he ever needed me, he would call me. And if I never needed him, and I have in the past, I call him. And during COVID, we really did bond together as a community. And Lexington rose up and supported us. And so we just want to give back. We will also want to build that community because it's great for tourism. It's great for the folks who are visiting us. We're the handshake of our community. We're the welcome in. We are the ambassadors. We really feel that strongly. The chefs and restaurateurs, service staff, we're here to make our community shine. And, uh, and and we're thankful. I'm thankful to be here. And another thing that, that we, we don't focus on a lot, these are really good prices to try these dishes right. too, aren't they? Yes, it's multi-course. I mean, we had, a, we had a couple come into Holly Hill Inn. We're at the $39 mark for three courses, plus you get a, a little starter course and our fresh sourdough bread. And they wanted to share. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Uh, they're older. They couldn't eat all that food, so they got like an extra appetizer, and then they shared the rest of the meal. I'm, I'm down with that. I, I'm, I'm tired of 
rules. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. You tell them. So I just feel like if you come into our place and you need to share, I'm I'm okay with it. And it's going to be a series of small plates, but that might just be what you need that day. Yeah. Yeah. I it's love good. that. Thank you, Chef Wada. My pleasure. I'm telling you, her food is off the charts. Oh, yeah. Next level, we will definitely check you out at every single restaurant. We just have to find you. That's the problem. Figure out what restaurant she's in that day. <laughs> that, that's <laughs> my, uh, that was my next question for you. Where do you find yourself most often? I am. I live next door to Holly Hill Inn. I'm so blessed to live in that gorgeous location. So I'm. I cook there, and we have a big events kitchen at Fazig Tipton where we do a lot of catering. Mm -hmm. I'm not as good a line cook as I used to be, <laughs> but I can cook for a crowd. So like I, I'm a lot of times I'm there cooking for big events. And then we just opened a cooking studio in Versailles on Main Street there. So I'm teaching, I try to teach, I'll try to teach five times every month and you'll find me there um, teaching on Thursday nights, sun Saturday nights. We're kind of just getting into that. But you can go to hollyhillandco.com. All of our restaurants are there. You can link to any of our restaurant websites from there. And like my whole story's there, blah blah blah. It's all there, folks. <laughs> she's, Sawita. She's, she's fantastic. Sawita world. <laughs> and we've got more coming up for you here in just a few minutes. We love her.